lakud dunga hongiti St. Andrews anga juvianut kugluk to me. Good morning and welcome to our worship from St. Andrews Church kugluk tuk. Atinengmik keniyak to giti pakingnagir kangman tukulak luhiyuk kaglilengman. Kwaneki to yuk pitko himin nik taimagli inugli nagungit tuk taimaglit tauk. Ihu maminnik. Utek kublugu atenengmun tafuma nagliging niamani. Garip ting nudlu ihu magunyak gviging nakhugu. Seek the Lord while he may be found. Call on him while he is near. Let the wicked forsake his way and the evil person his thoughts. Let them turn to the Lord and he will have mercy upon us and to our God for he will freely pardon and forgive us. Oh 
Hane, Ukariao Tiro Hapkin, Inuit Jesus Christ Tikon, Ata Niptigun, Ekayuk Tigod, Angutik Put, Jesus Pibloko, Urugot Talvangani, Inuhigik Kukluta, Ilumo Dumik Nagoyo Miglo, Atkin Aleonakto Pibloko, Amen. O God, Inuit Anatevachapkin, Jesus Christ Tikun, Uvogod Wanachevachapta Ilvin, Ihumagunia Vigiluta, Ikayuktigod, O God, Nagovadlia Lakovluta, Inuhiptingni Talvanganin, Jesus Piblogo, Apakigiptigin, Amen. If we confess our sins, God is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all wrongdoing. Amen. Atangum Kangauta Angu Tikput Kilang Mitutin Hadkin Nogogiauri Atangovin Kaili Ihumatin Tamaliulit Nunami Kilang Mitutun Ublumi Nakihaptingnik Aitoktikut when I could tip tingni, I huma guinea gluten. Uva got tau, I huma lok tiggy fig up tikin. When I hear a boot. O tok tau negmon, he would let tie luta. Tupi lagmin, and now tick tigot. Ilvin, pew tiggy gapkin. Atangovic, Akogina, Kalmaneglo, Nungolitumon, Tang. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom the power and the glory for ever and ever. Amen. God am Kawe to Halloit Psalm chapter one verses one mid six moon. Kove to inuk to ha yun narome win nak to yunut madligumangit kiblone inungnut nakungit to nut. Ilagit ko nagitap ko a mitaw tingin ng matyuk kaad. Kihimita po makuweho tigayit kaad impit ko yait. Iho maplo ni itap ko ninga not kakimay tumik. Tam na inuk na pagtutut iliyok. Kuk kamhanian ito ahera ko ni namak tumik. Panaktiyo ito niglo. Kahigto tainik, inuk tamna, humila kaglunit, pigay gumi na magpagtok. Huwain na katuyod le, alaw yung galuit, iviktun panakimayutun iliblutik. Nung huwain na kapagamik, ano kamin? Huwain na katuyod ila, ihuigiyaw humuyot, Kahit min abip kaktitaw lutik na kuyunin. At ang ngobli inuit na kuyut muna rin nakpagayit. Huwi na kituyul lo ulam naw niyak tugaluit nung ulay tumun. Kahit im okawhin o kwa. Kwa na Susie. Psalm 1 Blessed is the person who does not walk in the counsel of the wicked, or stand in the way of sinners, or sits in the seats of mockers, but whose delight is in the law of the Lord, and on his law meditates day and night. That person is like a tree planted by streams of water, which yields its fruit in season, and whose leaf does not wither. Whatever that person does, he will prosper. Not so the wicked. They are like chaff that the wind blows away. 
Therefore the wicked will not stand in the judgment, nor sinners in the, se the assembly of the righteous. For the Lord watches over the way of the righteous, but the way of the wicked will perish. Amen. Telling the truth. Have you ever wondered why there are so many unhappy people around us today? In a world where so many people are suffering from hunger, poverty, disease and war, where millions of refugees are searching for a country where they can be at peace, where they can be free and happy. And yet, while we have all the basic needs for a daily life, many, many people are desperately searching or longing for happiness. One reason, among many reasons, that so many people are not happy and living fulfilled lives is that they are searching in all the wrong places. Oh yes, people want to be happy. People want to be at peace within themselves and with other people. Some people, when they're talking about happiness, seem to think that happiness is a nice home, a good job, money in the bank, plenty of food and a contented family. These are good things to want and there's nothing wrong with them. But do they really give that deep down happiness that satisfies when life is not always going in the way that we would like it to go? I remember a song that was written a long, long time ago, which has this line in it. I've got a wonderful feeling. Everything is going my way. Well, it sounds good, doesn't it? But everything will not always go our way. And I think it's true to say that feelings aren't always a good guide to lasting, permanent happiness. When I read Psalm 1, which we read together this morning, it has some important lessons to teach us about happiness. The person that wrote this psalm makes it quite clear where happiness is not found, where happiness won't be found. Happiness is not found in a way of life that leaves out God. Now, there are many people who say, quite casually, well, I believe in God, and that's good. But as we ask questions of people who make that statement about what it means for them to believe in God, it becomes clear that there is no real understanding of believing, trusting and obeying God's word. In fact, sometimes people become a little uncomfortable when we start talking about God and the Lord Jesus and the Holy Spirit in a very personal way. And when we're talking to people about God, people who say that they believe in God, we have to think to ourselves, well, really, their way of life is one that doesn't really reflect accurately what it means to be a Christian. Really, there's no place for God in their lives at all. And people who leave God out of their lives, who have no room for him at all, often live lives that are all about me. A very self-focused way of living. Providing I'm pleasing myself, that's all that matters. And there's very little, if any, thought of the consequences of how I live or what I do. Happiness depends on what they do and how they feel. Well, there's another story in the Bible which I know that you know. A story that we know well and you've probably heard many sermons, many talks on it over the years. And it's the story of the prodigal son in Luke chapter 15. It's a wonderful example of how a young man wanted to go his own way, searching for happiness without any thought of the consequences of living foolishly. 
he lived for the moment. He was, in the words of Psalm 1, walking in the ways of the wicked. We know from reading that story, he turned his back on his home and his family in order to find what he thought would bring him happiness. But we know as we read on in that story that Jesus told that he finished up homeless, friendless, no money, hungry, eating what the pigs ate. Because he went his own way, wanted to do and did his own thing, he finished up with no hope, no peace and certainly no happiness at all. Like so many, many people today, he chose to try and find happiness in everything that led him further and further away from his family, from his friends, but also from his Lord. His way resulted in anything but happiness. He learned his lesson the hard way. And so the question is, where is real lasting happiness found? If we read Psalm 1 carefully, we learn that happiness is not found in following the way of sinners, of those who mock and leave God out of their lives, but in following the ways of the Lord. Just listen to these words again. Blessed is the person who does not walk in the ways of the wicked, or stand in the way of sinners, or sit in the seat of those who mock or make fun of God. You know, it's always easy and always tempting to follow the crowd, to join in with what others are doing, even when we know that what is being done is not good or helpful for us. It takes a lot of courage to stand up and to be known as a person who is living in God's way, who is following God's instructions and is obeying God's laws. Laws and rules. How boring. Really? I don't think so. Imagine life without any rules at all. Think for a moment about a hockey game without any rules on the ice. There would be absolute chaos. But as I look around, I see many, many people who do live as if they don't have to obey the rules of life. People who have got no time for doing what they know is right, but they choose their own way. And as I have already said, they give no thought that to the consequences of how they're living or what they're doing. They live for the moment and they have regrets later on. And happiness is a momentary thing. It just comes and goes. There's no lasting happiness, no real peace in their lives at all. Rules and laws are not given to make life miserable. Certainly not. They are given to protect us, to guide us and to give order as we go through life. Of course, mistakes will be made. Rules and laws do get broken, as we all know. And we all break rules. We all break laws. Even Christians are not perfect. We sin and sometimes forget that we have a saviour to follow. We have our saviour to trust and obey. However, when we do sin, we have the promise of forgiveness and the promise of a restored relationship with the Lord Jesus. And he puts real happiness, real peace 
into our lives. When the prodigal son returned home to his father, when he confessed, when he admitted that he had been foolish in trying to find happiness in his own way, what did his father do? His father welcomed him home. His father loved him and his father forgave him. And that is a picture of how God welcomes us home. And when we admit that we've been searching for happiness in our own way, doing our own thing, when we've messed up, we've spoiled our lives, we've maybe hurt other people, he will forgive us. And he will fill us with his love through the Holy Spirit. And we will have that overwhelming scent, sense of the happiness that he alone can give to us. And I want to tell you that there is nothing boring about following the way of the Lord. We go on and we read in this psalm, the person who doesn't walk in the way of the wicked will delight, will enjoy the law of the Lord. And he will enjoy the Lord so much that he will want to read and to think upon God's word. A life that is rich in the joy, the love, the happiness of the Lord Jesus. If we walk in the ways of the Lord and not in the ways of the ungodly, we will enjoy a life that knows real and lasting happiness. Our lives will be examples of what it means to be disciples of the Lord Jesus. Of course, there will be hard times. There will be disappointments. There will be sorrow. There will be times when we feel as though happiness is just not possible. But those times do not have to destroy our love, our peace, our happiness that comes from the Lord. We do not have to depend on things or feelings for there to be happiness in our lives. Psalm 1 makes it clear that there are two ways to live. The way of those who choose to leave God out of their lives or those who choose to walk daily with the Lord Jesus. The way of enjoying, of delighting in a personal relationship with Jesus. I am often reminded of these encouraging and heartwarming words of Jesus in John's Gospel, chapter 10 and verse 10. These words read like this. A thief, that is the devil, comes only to steal and kill and destroy. And then Jesus said, I came so that you can have real and eternal life. You can have more and a better life than you ever dreamed of. Oh yes, walking in the ways of the Lord, bearing fruit, love, joy, peace, happiness, flowing from our lives when we are walking with Jesus every day of our living. And so, the truth be told, we have to decide, are we going to walk in the way of the wicked to find happiness? Or are we, to, are we going to walk in the ways of the Lord and to have his presence in our lives and the happiness that he wants us to have? And so, the Lord bless you as you begin a new week in Kugluktuk. And will you remember these words from Psalm 1? Happy is the person who walks in the way of the Lord. Surrender.
Amen. Inuit Hamaneng Mut Piblogit. O God, Kilang me tutin. Kangagalugmin, Okag Vigi Varakin, Inuit Ok Pagohoktun. Okag Vigi King, Inuit Nunak Ding Niktun. Taja, Nayok Paglugidlo. Minihitabut, Nagok Tikin, Tamangmik, Nagoyumik. Ikayok Himakublugit, Inok Tingmik. Uktek did look it, ilinglon, ilang it, ulo now pata. Aniak himayun, nagohip kag look it, ihuma lok tudlo, ihuma lokwak tud look it, huli takwa hakogit tun, ukpeg yaming nik, uktok hima look it, pitku yang nik, puigit kung nakit. Ilo o god, ikayuk ti good to mapta. Ino higi hip kubluta. Ilvin anengneglo na goyok. Ang nidlo ang gajovit yakun atautikun. Amen. O God our Father, we thank you. We just thank you today that you love us so much and that we can know your love, a love which brings real happiness into our lives that we don't have to trust in feelings or in things in order to find happiness. But through committing our lives to you, as we begin each new day, we can know whatever comes to us, that we can know your presence, your protection, which brings happiness. And so, Lord Jesus, I pray that all of us will know how wonderful it is to know you in our lives every day. We ask your blessing, Lord Jesus, upon all those who are travelling, now that the ice has moved out, that people are free to travel on the rivers, the lakes and the ocean. I pray that people will be safe, that people will enjoy being at their summer camps. We pray that people will enjoy being together with families and friends at this beautiful time of the year. As the flowers blossom, as the grass grows, we are reminded of how wonderful it is to know that you are the creator of this beautiful world but more than anything else, you are also the Saviour. And as we know you, we can appreciate and value all the blessings that you bring to us every day. 
Bless Lord Jesus, every person who hears this online service today, those who are sick and in a special need of prayer, and that touch of your Holy Spirit upon their lives. We pray that you would bless our country, our leaders, especially those who are working in healthcare, the doctors and nurses who have been under so much pressure as they have to deal with this coronavirus. We ask your blessing upon them and we thank you for their ministries, for the love and the care that they have for the people who they deal with daily. And so we praise and thank you, Lord Jesus, for your presence with us now. Amen. I have decided to follow Jesus. I have decided to follow Jesus. I have decided to follow Jesus. No turning back, no turning back. I have decided to follow Jesus. I have decided to follow Jesus. I have decided to follow Jesus. No turning back, no turning back. Jesus for Mali, go Mali Tonga. Jesus for Mali, go Mali Tonga. Jesus for Godim, no gukutata, actinang night to galawak, munagilugit o matihi. Ihu mahilo, Jesus him, ilihima ningagun. Kowia kota goodlo, Godim ayuhaitum, angutipta, aningata. Anangnim nagoyum, nagukuktiptininga, ilipfingni himali taimunga. Amen. And the peace of God which passes all understanding. Keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of his Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be amongst you and remain with you always. Amen.